LGBTQ bias or false narratives in Florida. The state legislature there passed legislation this week prohibiting classroom instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity for students in kindergarten through third grade. Opponents of the new law refer to it as the, quote, don't say gay bill. That raised the ire of Governor Ron DeSantis, who says despite false media narratives, the new law protects five, six, and seven-year-olds. The idea that you wouldn't be honest about that and tell people what it actually says, it's why people don't trust people like you because you peddle false narratives. And so we disabuse you of those narratives. And we're going to make sure that parents are able to send their kid to kindergarten without having some of this stuff injected into their school curriculum. The husband of U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg and other LGBTQ advocates are concerned about student mental health. I think this bill is vague on purpose because uh, it is trying to silence or push families, students, and LGBTQ individuals back into the closet. Folks, no one's trying to push anyone back into the closet. This addresses classroom instruction of five to seven-year-olds. They were never in the closet to begin with. Children that young don't understand sex. They certainly don't have a grasp of gender identity. And don't you find it interesting that some of the same people who advocated shutdowns, remote learning, and the masking of young children are the same ones who are now suddenly concerned about child mental health? This new law in Florida protects the mental health of young kids and keeps sex and gender discussions where they rightfully belong, in the hands of the parents. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on the CBN News and NRB channels, social media, and our broadcast affiliates. And until next time, be blessed.